All right, so building a quick automation today, we're gonna go to a YouTube video and just watch the video. The only thing that we wanna make sure we handle is the skip ad button. So we're gonna build a little bit of a more complex flow, even though this is a very, very simple go to the URL and wait type of thing. Um, we wanna build something that's a little bit more complex that's gonna handle these ads better. So what I can do is, is we can, I'm gonna paste the URL here and that's going to automatically go there. And then one of the things that we're concerned about is there being an ad. And I was hoping that this video would have an ad for us, but maybe I can click around for a second until we get an ad. Let's see. This has to have an ad, right? There we go. Okay. So usually this would say skip ads. Um, it doesn't in this case, so I'll go ahead in this example, and I don't want to lose the fact that I have an ad for this. So we already came, we already went to YouTube. We can adjust this URL if we want. That's fine. And the next step is I'm going to scrape this text so that we know if we need to click it or not. So what I can do is, is I can click Add Step and then Record Scrape and then Single. And the reason I'm recording this is so that I can use some sort of comparison. So you'll see here that it, this captured video will play after ads and then confirm. The reason I'm capturing this is because I want to record a click button. And again, this ideally you have the exact skip ad button showing up when you record this. Um, but I want to make sure this video gets out here and I don't know if it's going to do that. I'll let this play. I already captured what I need in case. So it's going to scrape this text and then we're going to use a filter to decide if it should be clicked or not. And if it shouldn't be clicked, we're going to skip back to the top. So you'll see how this comes together in a second here. Here we go. I'll use this one. Okay. So I'll go ahead and rescrape these now that I have the perfect button. What we will do is, is we're going to add a step of scrape and single. And I'm scraping this and this is telling us if there's a button here to click or not. I'm going to make sure I'm exact with this text. You'll see this come in. Um, okay, sorry, back and forth a lot, I know. So we use scrape text to get the skip ad text. We're going to confirm that step. And then what we can do is we can set up a filter step that's going to decide if we need to click it or not. Let's first record the click. And now we can set up our filters and you'll see how this plays together. So this is going to YouTube and then it's going to scrape the text here to see if there's an ad and then it's gonna click skip, skip ad. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna add a filter and this is gonna select if step two includes skip ad. You can do is it, or you can do includes, a lot of those are really gonna matter. Then we should skip to, or sorry, if this does not, then we're gonna skip to step one above, which I forgot to make. Um, the step I meant to make was a delay step here and this delay step is allowing for the video to run and it's also kind of resetting our timer of checking for the automation. So now again, because I know I've gone back and forth a lot trying to figure this automation out as I go, but this is going to go to this page. Then we have a minute delay and the reason we have a minute delay is because we want to constantly check if there's a skip ad button. You don't need to do a minute. You could do five seconds. You can do whatever you want. I'll make it a couple seconds there. And what this is going to do, go to the page, wait a little bit, and then it's going to scrape this button. If this button contains skip ad, oops, let's adjust these because I changed it. If it does not include skip ad, then we want to go back to the delay step. So what's going to happen here is it's going to go to this page, then it's going to wait a little bit, then it's going to scrape this button, decide if the button needs to be clicked or not. And then if it does need to be clicked, it'll click it. If it does not, it's going to go back to the top, wait another five seconds, check again, and it'll continue repeating that loop. So we can decide, I don't know if you guys want to go to somewhere else after this, or if you want to end, um, but this is how the automation is going to be set up so that you have this constant check for a skip ad button. This is also how you can handle pagination um, so that we can get our watch hours up on YouTube. So you can finish this with whatever you want. If you, if there's something that you can scrape, for example, you could scrape like, these two things and compare that they're the same, whatever you want to do, right? However you want to decide that you should end the automation or moving on to the next step. This is that kind of basic go to YouTube, set up a scraping, set up a scrape step to decide if we need to click skip, skip ads, and then just keep recycling this delay step 
um, or make it delay as long as you want. It's probably best as like 30 seconds or so, um, so that it, an ad has time to show up, play a little bit, things like that. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments. Uh, I'm looking forward to it.